Bass Fishing 101. I thought I'd cover a couple more Bass 101 questions. And one is going to be responding to a video I made about can a bass really eat a lure this big or do bass really eat prey that are this big. And I covered things like uh, ducklings and rats and, and very briefly, but yes, they do eat larger prey um, about those sizes. And when you see big lures, yes, they can, they can eat them. So if you haven't seen the video, that's a sum of basically what I was saying, which raises one question. Um, if you have been reading much about bass fishing, you already know that crayfish or crawdads or whatever you might want to call them are a major part of the bass's diet just about anywhere you go. And so, like many people in the Bass 101 courses, you might wonder how the hell does a bass eat a crawdad or a crayfish while it's still alive and not have their stomach torn apart? They've got those tough claws, they've got quite a bit of power behind them. How does that work? And you might apply that to a few other uh, prey fish and things like that, some, some tougher species that you would imagine, wow, these are probably really going to be doing some damage to the bass's stomach. Well, there are a couple interesting things about the bass. Number one, understand that the bass, when you do, if you find a bass or you catch a bass that has a big belly on it, um, it's probably just eaten that. It takes 12 hours normally for a bass to thoroughly digest whatever meal it has in its stomach, crayfish or any of the other things we've been talking about. Another unique thing about bass and in junction with what we were talking about with the crawdad pinchers and all these tough things and how could they possibly digest them while they're alive, well, the a unique part of the bass's anatomy in their mouth is they have these large cartilaginous parts of their throat called crushers. Hmm, crushers. And now if, you, if you're ever holding a bass and you look down into his mouth, you'll see these two large, uh, they look like big tonsils almost. With they, If you feel them, they're like sandpaper. And if you touch back between those two things, they will come together almost crushing your finger. And what those, they're, they're called crushers. Now what happens, if you can imagine, when they suck up a crawdad or a crayfish, those crushers will go over their body and essentially kill whatever prey it is so that it's lifeless and it's not really going to do too much damage to their body while they're in their stomach. It makes digestion a lot easier, makes those big healthy fish grow to be catchable and trophy, uh, trophy size. So anyways, just to wrap all this up, hopefully you know a little bit more about bass. That's a big part of bass fishing, just knowing more and more about where you're fishing, what you're fishing for, how that fish that you're fishing for operates, how it thinks, what it eats. All those things are essential to getting more fish in the boat or on land, as I always say. So get out there, try this new uh, information out, and check it out for yourself. Check out those crushers. It's really interesting stuff. Enjoy. Bass Fishing 101!